Have you ever felt hopeless and that there was something more? Have you ever felt like there was no one to help? Have you also ever felt like you needed to help but you weren't sure how you could? I want to tell you a story about Dave. I was going to the grocery store one day and there was a gentleman sitting on the pavement next to the door and he asked if I had change and I told him that I would get change and bring some to him. So I went into the store and, and did my shopping and I couldn't get this gentleman off my mind and something was pushing me to interact with him. And so I got a little bit of cash and I went back outside and I gave him the cash first and he, he almost cried and he said that that would really help. He, he needed some food and something came over me. I'm sure it was the Holy Spirit. And I asked Dave if he ever saw an image around Easter time where there was a hill with three crosses on it. And he said, yes. And I asked if he knew the story and he said, no. And so I told him the story of the three crosses that prior to Christ being crucified on that hill, two thieves had already been crucified. And when Jesus was put on the cross and the cross settled into the ground, one thief, we call him, I call him the first thief, said, if you're the Messiah, get us, save us all, get us all down from these crosses. And the other thief, the second one, told the first thief, you don't understand, he really is the Messiah and he's done nothing wrong. And Christ turned to him and told him, I'll see you in paradise today. There was no um, special prayer. There was no preacher. There was no church. It was the simple belief of that thief that Christ was the Messiah that sent him to paradise. And I asked Dave if I could pray pray with him and he said yes and I did. I stood right there by the front door to the grocery store and prayed to prayer that he would be able to get his finances together or his EBT card I didn't know all the circumstances and the little bit of cash that I gave him was was certainly going to help him buy some food but I had him heavy on my heart for a couple of weeks and I finally found a a small Bible like this and I had marked it already and flagged the page where Luke 23 is and highlighted the story of the three crosses on the hill and last week I encountered Dave again at a different store and I asked how he was doing and he said it's been very very rough and I said okay I'll come back and so I did my shopping and came back out. And I said, do you remember me? And he said, yes, you told me the story of the three crosses. And I said, I did. And I reached in my purse and I had an extra one of these little Bibles. And it was flagged and highlighted with the passages of, regarding the story of the three crosses on the hill. And I said, this one's for you. And again, I told him, um, you know, you don't have to say a special prayer or have a preacher or be in a church for you to accept salvation through Christ. You can do it just by believing. That's what this passage says. If you want to give your life to Christ and find salvation and find that peace, you can give us a call here at Olive Branch Church. We have a lot of people that love people, and we want to help. <laughs>